On a cold or wet summer's day, it's not that uncommon to hear someone say, well, so much for global warming. But as our planet heats up, and it really is heating up, it's important to understand the difference between weather and climate. The weather is what's happening right now and how it's likely to vary over the coming hours, days and weeks. Forecasters take a look at things like temperature, air pressure, wind direction and humidity for a particular region. They're all put together into a model which tries to tell us what we want to know. What's the weather like? So, will it stay sunny today? How hot is it going to be? When's it going to rain and is it going to blow a gale tomorrow? What are the chances of a white Christmas? Of course, forecasters don't always get it quite right and the weather is constantly changing. But in general, short-term forecasts are pretty accurate for the week ahead. Longer range seasonal forecasts. Are we expecting a particularly hot summer or an unusually cold winter? Are more likely to get things a bit wrong. But they are still dealing with the weather and not the climate because the climate is measured and analysed over a much longer period of time. It's usually at least 30 years, but it can stretch over centuries or even millions of years. Put simply, the climate is the average of all the weather that happens. So, average temperatures, average rainfall, average amounts of sunshine. And climate scientists look at long-term trends to work out how the climate is changing. Now, we know there are different climatic zones on the Earth. There's tropical heat at one extreme and the frozen poles at the other but they're all affected by the global climate. And the trend at the moment is clear. Our planet is getting hotter and hotter. Have a look at this chart. It shows the change in global surface temperature compared to mid 20th century levels. You can clearly see the upward trend, especially over the last 20 years. Now you may think that doesn't look like much, but it is having a big impact on life on this planet, fueling extreme weather events, melting sea ice, rising sea levels, and long-term changes in living conditions for humans, animals and plants. Look for example at what's been happening to Arctic sea ice, which has recently been at its lowest level on satellite records. So while a change in the weather means the day-to-day -day shift from sunshine to rain and back again, climate change means global warming. And that's a huge challenge we all need to confront.